Howdy, y'all. It's me, Michael Anthony Giudicissi. Welcome to All Things Billy the Kid, the special members-only video, as uh, most of them, I guess, should be. Um, and thank all of you for uh, becoming channel members and supporting the, the work that we do here. So, Colonel Dudley, what does he have to do with Brushy Bill's ears? <laughs> well, he's got something to do with it, and I'm going to share a little bit of that with you. I want to thank Paul for uh, sending me some of the photos that we're going to look at today. But uh, let's take you on a quick little detour back to Brushy Bill <laughs> and Brushy Bill's ears and uh, what they might tell us about his true identity. Uh, and at the end of this video, I'm going to link back to the one uh, that we did in much more detail so you can watch it if for some reason you haven't. OK, so let's have a look at this. And we will. Uh, Go forward. All right. This guy, you all know, this handsome young daredevil, <laughs> uh, Billy Bonnie. Uh, gosh, when you look up close, he really does. It looks like his eyes are rolling back in his head. You know, I can see why people might say, oh, it's a death photo, even though we know it's not. So uh, this is Billy Bonnie. And you can pretty clearly see it. It doesn't take a whole lot of uh, imagination to see his earlobes here. Uh, his ear comes down and then it kind of angles back up to the head detached earlobes just like mine attached earlobes would be where the ear ran directly into the face without going back up pretty simple um and we did an entire video on this so this is uh if this is billy i guess the first hurdle to clear is this you've got to believe this is him uh, but if that's him then um then we've got a problem if you believe the story of brushy bill roberts here's brushy bill um, later in life and you can see that his earlobes are attached. Uh, I'll go back for a second. They look nothing like the ears of this young man uh, in that detached earlobe. And people say, oh, well, maybe the hair curled up and that was, was hiding his earlobe. And I must have curled up on both sides then. It must have jumped forward and curled up <laughs> in front of his earlobes so that 142 years later, we'd still be arguing about this. But that's not what happened, obviously. Yeah, this is brushy, and you can tell the shape of the ear is completely different. The attachment point of the earlobe, completely different. Case closed. This guy is not Billy the Kid. It's there's it's undeniable. There's no amount of evidence or stories or 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 testimony. There's nothing else that you should ever talk about to believe this guy was Billy the Kid because he was not, and there's nothing you can do to change that. The ears or a defining characteristic. And if you talk to uh, uh, law enforcement officers, they'll tell you they take a picture from the front and from the side so they can see the ears because they're almost a better determining factor than fingerprints, which can be burned or sanded off um, to, uh, uh, to identify someone. And in the other video, which you can look at, we, we go through some of the scientific uh, research that shows that the shape of the ear is defined at birth and the shape of the ear doesn't change. The ears grow. They get bigger as a baby gets bigger. And the ears might sag down on the head as the skin on the head, uh, you know, starts to sag. But the shape of the ears, the cartilage is set and doesn't change. Uh, here's another photo of Brushy Bill. And you can see that thing here. Let's, let's go in even a little, whoops, a little more here. And you can see this is uh, 1950 when Brushy is in. That's Governor Mabry there. And Brushy's asking for a pardon. He's not going to get it because Governor Mabry, Mabry correctly says, I don't believe you're Billy the Kid. And Governor Mabry was right. He's not Billy the Kid. It was all a sham. Um, but again, you can see dramatically that this earlobe is attached. I want to repeat, you cannot change that. OK, it does. It doesn't matter Anything else that anybody says, all these yahoos that are making, you know, internet videos and those kind of things, trying to prove some arcane th thing that they say Brushy said, it doesn't matter. It's not the same guy. Case closed. That's it. It's like somebody with has three heads and then a guy with one head says, oh, no, I'm the guy with three heads. No, you're not. You only have one head. So anyway, this 
should be enough to prove it to most people. But the thing that happens when you offer proof to people that don't want it is they start trying to find a way around that proof. And when I did that first video about brushy Bill's ears, um, a number of people said, hmm, I, you know, I never considered that. And, and thank you for those people for being open minded. Never considered that. You know what? I think you're right. Um, but the real hardcores, the people that are so um, uh, dug into this belief, they didn't say that. They said, oh, your ears can change. Oh, he had a hard life. Oh, my ears look different than when I was a kid. Oh, this. Oh, that. Oh, that. And they just start inserting stuff to try to break down the irrefutable, absolute, unimpeachable evidence that this guy is not Billy the Kid. Never was, never will be. You're never going to prove it. It's over. But Paul, thankfully, I get, a, I get a little hot under the collar when we talk about this because it it just it it amazes me that people are are so willing to deny evidence. Um, but Paul was nice enough to come up with some information on Colonel Dudley, and it wasn't even had nothing to do with Colonel Dudley's ears. But let's have a look at them and just see if we can find anything that might help our understanding of this. Here's Colonel Nathaniel Dudley. Um, as you can see, uh, born in looks like uh, Lexington, August 20th, 1825. Now, that's not when this picture was taken, because this is not an infant. This picture is taken in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 1863. Colonel Dudley would be uh, 38 years old. So not a direct correlation. Billy was 20 or 21, maybe 1920, somewhere there in that photo. Uh, Dudley's 38. But let's, um, let's go take a, a little closer look at something here. Uh, if you can see Dudley's ears, he's got very distinctive ears. I've never seen anyone like this. It's almost like it's an ear within an ear. And I'm going to show you a, a cleaned up photo of this in a moment so you can get a better um, a better idea of it. But in other words, there's this, the shape of the ear is here. And then there's like a whole piece of flesh, <laughs> is that what you would call it, that uh, goes around the ear. So it's, uh, it, it, it's like a two for one type deal. <laughs> uh, let me uh, show you this one so you can get a better, just a, just a little clearer vision. Same photo. And here you can really see where Dudley has this line, this shape around here, and then he's got this extra bit of earlobe here. Very distinctive. I don't, I don't know that I've ever, I don't look that closely at people's ears, but I don't know that I've ever seen uh, somebody's like this. And this is Dudley at 38 years old. Um, so uh, what does that mean for our, uh, you know, was Dudley Billy the kid? Well, no, Dudley's got pretty well attached earlobes, although they come straight in. It doesn't go up and unattached, but it doesn't go straight down like brushies either. So, okay, well, what's the point, Michael? Why are we even bothering with this? Well, here's the point. Here's Colonel Dudley much later in life. And son of a gun, if those weird ass ears aren't there again. Dudley, this is him in his uh, 60s. Uh, gosh, I have the other photo dated. I'll get to that in his 60s. So some good 30 years later and the ears are the same. You still have this extra earlobe type thing that attaches here. And then this inner part of the ear, I'll switch back so you can see there's that ear. And then here's Dudley's ear again. I have an enhanced version of this one too, so you can see it. But uh, 30 years didn't do a damn thing to change the look of Colonel Dudley's ears. His earlobes didn't suddenly drop down here and attach. They didn't suddenly go up and unattach. They just stayed where they were because that's, the way the human body is designed. That's what ears do. Okay. Uh, I have a, a uh, an enhanced, ver oh, actually, you know what? Let me look. Here's, here's another one of Colonel Dudley. Um, I like this one too. Same thing uh, later on in his 60s. And you can see again, that this from the other side, that weird ear uh, where the, the extra lobe at the bottom attaches, same kind of point, same thing. 
um, very distinctive, unchanged from when he was a young man. Here's a uh, cleaned up little AI version so you can see. And there you can see it even more clearly. Here's that extra earlobe here. Colonel Dudley, I mean, uh, Paramount, uh, very important to the story of uh, Billy the Kid. Um, you know, <laughs> his men probably tried to kill Billy uh, coming out of the McSween house. And had they done that, we probably would have heard nothing more, uh, nothing more about him. But Colonel Dudley's ears inadvertently give us the key to the story of Billy's ears and Brushy Bill's ears because the ears don't change. They just don't. You can want them to. You can pretend they do. You can hope they do, but they don't. It's not the way it works. Uh, when I uh, sent a uh, two photos side by side, of uh, brushy bills and i sent actually this photo here and this photo of billy here uh, i sent those to a woman who lives in my neighborhood i i, I reached out to see if anyone uh, knew an ear nose and throat uh, physician and she is an or nurse uh, for an EN, for ENT surgeons. And I just sent her those. I said, look, one of these guys is 20 years old. One of these guys says he's 90 years old and it's the same guy. Is that possible? And her exact words were, I had, I don't see any way that could be possible without surgical intervention. And that's true because these earlobes go up and brushies don't. And that's just not going to change. I mean, it's not even close. I mean, it's not even close. Why is this? Why are we? Uh, Brushy died in 1950. So we're 73 years, 72 and a half years. He died in December. 72 and a half years later. Why are we even arguing something that there's no argument for? They're not the same person. They never were the same person. They never will be the same person. If you're a brushy bill believer, you can believe that he was a great con man or he was put up by a great con man. You can believe that he was somebody important in Billy's life or the Lincoln County War. I don't think he was either based on the research that I've done, but you can believe that and try to prove that. But there's 100% absolute positive zero, uh, well, I guess <laughs> there's 0% chance that you'll ever prove he was Billy the Kid because of this irrefutable physical characteristic. And nobody who was in on the Brushy Bill scam snapped to that. I mean, besides all the other things that, you know, Brushy was a natural left-hander and he fought in the three-day battle and he and Fred Waite ran to, to Billy's, but like every single thing he got wrong that he, you know, aped from Walter Burns Noble's book or, you know, Life Magazine, like all of those things are irrelevant to prove that he's not Billy the Kid. The only thing you need to prove that he's not Billy the Kid are these ears and these ears. And if you think they change over time, Colonel Dudley, Colonel Nathaniel Dudley of Fort Stanton, who had to go through an inquest because of his actions during the uh, Lincoln County War, his ears say, guess what, guys? The ears don't change over time. I've got these weird ass double ear lobe things going on. And they were going on when I'm in my 30s and my 40s in my 50s, in my 60s. And if you dug me up and somebody embalmed my ears, they'd still look the same. And I blame my mommy and my daddy for those weird ass earlobes that I have. But there's nothing I can do about it. And barring surgical intervention, they're not ever going to change. So why do we still... Why does why do people even still have the discussion? I guess is the big question. Why would people even bother discussing the fact that Brushy Bill could be Billy the Kid when he absolutely, positively, one hundred percent was not him? And I think it's because people want Billy to have had a happy ending. I think people, some people, like the idea that Billy got away lived happily ever after, although Brushy certainly didn't live happily ever after. He had a horrible life. 
Uh, all the stuff that he lied about was just bull. But, you know, his actual life of, you know, being a farm laborer and getting his balls stepped on by a horse and, um, you know, being broke and destitute and, you know, moving around Texas and, you know, going to these Wild West shows and stuff like that is, you know, some and having to submit his own life story to every newspaper in the, in the state like that. It wasn't a good life. Is that what you wanted for Billy? Is that the good life you wanted? Or did you want Billy to own a ranch in Mexico, run, I don't know, a few hundred head of cattle, breed horses, go horse racing every once in a while, lay down with his pretty little senorita at night, have a few babies, make some money, have one of his outlaw buddies come by every now and again, sit back, drink a beer, talk about the old days, and then go back to his life. Isn't that what you want Billy to have? Because that's not what Brushy had. That's not at all what he had. And so if it's people that just want Billy to have lived, why don't you just want him to have lived a better life than Brushy Bill lived? John Miller lived an awful life. He was broke and destitute. His wife burned to death in a fire. Uh, yeah, I mean, he died in a nursing home, you know, not having any of his friends around. Like, make up something better. Make up something happier. Make up something that you'd see in the closing credits of a movie when Billy rides off across the grassy plains. He he ties his horse up at the front door, his beautiful wife with her heaving bosom <laughs> and, you know, her long flowing raven locks comes out and they lock in a deep romantic kiss. And then two kids come out and papa and they wrap their hands around their arms around his legs and they welcome him home and he goes in and has a nice meal and then goes and makes love to his wife. That's the Billy I want to see. But that didn't happen either. Billy was killed in Fort Sumner July 14, 1881 by Pat Garrett, shot down like a dog, probably from ambush. At least that's my belief. And uh, Brushy Bill isn't going to change that. Colonel Dudley's ears get the last word and they say, Brushy, you're full of shit. Until next time, I'm your host, Michael Anthony Judas. Thanks for joining me for this episode of All Things Billy the Kid. See ya. <laughs>